If you wanna be my friend, you would better go and get a pen. Maybe we can keep in touch. Like I did in the old days, days it wasn't, wasn't so long ago. I couldn't. You had committed to it, like I, I don't. I'm not doing it to be funny, but I just I'm like happy birthday to you. But like, That's you your do singing that? voice. You, you think it's, but I think it's good. You could do it. Would Maybe there is a friends? register that you just haven't found yet, where suddenly just it all clicks. You can do you think? Do notes? you do you think that's true? Do you think that if you found, like, there is a register for you where people go. Dude, you could fucking yes, one hundred percent. You could play yeah, arenas. Yeah, yes. You think I it had, exists? How do you I find know, it? I just, I definitely felt like in the past when I've been singing like like hymns, for example. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Suddenly there'll be one of those ones where you have to go to a higher register, and all of a sudden it becomes like a divine moment. And I don't know whether it's just because I'm in a church at the time, but I'll but hit a are, sing Hosanna yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. from the highest high, and suddenly like even the like the priest is looking they at stop. me, thinking, "Wow, there you go. He's got he's it. Just he's been got touched it. by yeah. a divine You're presence." Sort of a Religious version of like the X Factor. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Where the priest not signs off jack. like that, dude. Not yeah. to take the wind out of your sails. But don't, aren't probably most hymn, hymnals written in a safe place for general groups of people to sing? Well, you took all the wind out of his sails. I mean, no, he I'm thought at, he was going to play arena. No, but I'm talking know. about when I go rogue and harmonize. Because I'm that guy that when people are singing hymns and there is a chance for a little bit of harmony, yeah, I yeah, will yeah, commit yeah. to it. And I've definitely had experiences where I think like that's that's my place that yeah. that's my register. Yeah, is harmonizing it and yeah, just yeah, yeah. lifting it one to ten to a higher level. Ten means you're a great singer. Where yeah. are you? One to ten. One to ten. Yeah. Where would you put I think yourself? normally I would be around a three or a four. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, you gotta, there's Jack, a specific you harmony worry yeah. you're you're better better than than yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'm a five or a six. You're better than us. Five or six in America. We're negative eights. That's your answer. I'm an American six. Six. <laughs> I'm a UK five. Yeah, I'm a UK five. Yes. Or where would you put you? In, in the right register, you know the song, you've had some time there, to warm up. There are some moments where I'm like, fuck. Like, there's been times I've been singing at sure. home, and I'll like go into the room where my wife is, and I'm like, did you hear that? And she'll be like, yeah. And I go, how'd that sound? And she'll be like, what are you fucking, get well, out of here. Or <laughs> your summer from a few years ago, in yeah. the sun, whatever that yeah, was. Yeah, summer sun. You yeah, hit yeah. The, dude, you hit those notes. And they're yeah, Every now and then and I big. pull it off, but there's no consistency. But I do believe that with, and we talked about this with Amy Mann, with absolute training. We crushed it with I Amy I think Mann. I could be a singer that people respect. I don't mean that in a I make money doing it kind right, of way. You're not going to sell, like, not gonna really sell tickets. Friends go, he this. can sing. He's or brave and it's he's not. He's brave that he's going out there and he's doing <laughs> yeah, this in glasses front of people. And breaking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that'd okay. be amazing. But yeah. I'm saying, he's you're got saying, real courage. He's yeah. got real, no, he's I go good farther, for Jack. Yeah. I get a lot of good for him. It's not claps. I would say you're not going to sell tickets, but no one's going to think twice about you doing it. Like, in fact, if it was like, if it showed up in a, in a theatrical play and you had to sing, they'd be like, whoa, who, yeah. I wouldn't have thought. I would well, Russell Crowe got to sing in, you know. Did he? Les Miserables. Did Les. he, though? He got to. He got to. He got Did to. he? Yes. I it know was you and more Russell sort of tight. spoken word, though, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> it was, it was a little it was, it was spoken word and yeah. And, yeah. And it was a little I've gone yeah. accustomed to her face. It was yeah. a little. Mm. Yeah. But I would say I, I could be a, I, I think I'm a solid six. I think with training. I could get to a seven, seven and a half. But I think country, like country music, seven easy. Give Jack yeah. a little bit. Let him taste it. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Garth not. Brooks. Just the other night. Okay, I'll try that one. Okay, that was, here. Thank see, you. That's a good and that's I know, all that's I've good got for you. And that's all I've got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can set a show that's on that. That's the entire you tank. More than a <laughs> that, that's the, the entire song. gas tank. Just the other night at a hometown football game. My wife and I ran into my old high school flame. And as I introduced them, the past came back to me. Can I, do I, Can I just say, this is like genuinely, for me, this is like when Simon Cowell heard Susan Boyle for the first time. You, I Honestly, you that was me. my Susan Boyle moment. You. I was like, I was not expecting that voice to come it out was of okay. gentleman. It was brilliant. Oh my Lord. That's right. I really, I really feel like differently. That. You're Jack. not going to Hollywood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Everybody it's uh, 
The first I'll walkout. Sit down, no, I'll sit down. Nobody's asked me to. I'll yeah. sit down. I'll yeah. Sit down. This is our I first walkout, and another... also he's the host. <laughs> <laughs> you just it's another over. Lost in Translation thing. I think that would really work in Thank the UK. You. Yeah. Oh, and the maybe because we're not used country. to it. They love yeah, country. That might be why. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have anything to cut. The There's no bass layer. The rest of the show, anytime I'm trying to double dust my way into it, I'm like, his eyes are cold and restless. I just feel like, okay, <laughs> yeah, we got, <laughs> we got it. We got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. It's real soul in your voice. Thanks, brother. Yeah. No, he loves it. it. He loves yeah. to. He, he can do it too. Don't he? We've stunned yeah. country together. He's He's gone as you well. You should have said, with Amy Mann. Yep, that's the second time we mentioned it. <laughs> it he was, did a whole Tom Waits thing and oh he just God. kept going. And she had the same the same reaction you just had. She had that to yeah. his Tom she Waits. Went like this. It's gr- I don't know. Was she doing that or she? It might have been more of a. I saw. But it was more of a. <laughs> it's all perception. It's, it's all, all perception. perception. Uh, uh, we haven't introduced our guest, but it's okay, ladies and gentlemen. Did you well, look you, at your phone when you did? You look play? at your phone when you clicked the thing where it said featuring. My favorite thing about you. Rory hates when people are like, "We gotta get you guys aren't gonna believe it." He's always like, "They looked at their fucking phone. They, they know. know. They know." They and know. also, there's video, the Fridays, the video drops. They've seen it. Jack Whitehall is here, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, all the way. Good he's person. not. He's not in L.A. Like for an extended period of time, he flew here for. If yeah. people go, what's the budget on this podcast? Mm-hmm. We flew him here privately mm-hmm. to do this podcast for one flight, hour, but yep. we bought all the seats. We bought all, all the, the seats. seats on a commercial <laughs> flight, and you're not going to do better than that. That's like how Kanye flies. Right. That's what, what we did. Right, right. And now he's here, and then he goes back the moment we're done <laughs> because we cannot afford a hotel right. for tonight. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Jack it all on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> we spent I'll everything on the plane sleep on the way back. We can't pay you. We had no. that flight was all of it. Uh, but yeah, Jack Whitehall is here. Who uh, I I haven't told you this. We were in uh, uh, Toronto during the Just for Laughs in Toronto, <laughs> yeah. and they threw like a little show together that I don't even know if we were even like on it, but it was like, hey, comics that are in town, come and do this thing and do like, I don't know, eight minutes or something. It was uh, Beth Stelling was on it. The two of us mm-hmm. were on it. And Great show. I had a joint, as I often do, and I don't know how I was able to convince <laughs> Jack to also smoke and go on stage and Pre- Beth, Beth also yeah. to go on stage high, yeah, yeah. but I convinced the three of us, I don't think anyone else I convinced, but the three of us, somehow, two people who don't usually do that, were willing to to join you. I do never, that. ever smoked before going on stage before in my Tell life. Tell me the experience, and, I'm, and I genuinely want to know. I was like, I think this is going to be okay. I watched Rory go on, and he did his set, <laughs> and it was like... Like jazz, it sure. was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never knew in what direction he was going to go right. next. He was doing closer after closer. Sure. You know, they were begging he does, him he to usually stay does on not stage. know when to get off he stage. Was, he uh, keeps closing. Yeah, you know, well, when they say closer, <laughs> because it was a nice way of saying it did go on a little bit, but it was very funny. <laughs> and let's also be cl- very clear: Jack is high during this review of my set. <laughs> okay. So when he's like, "It was brilliant," <laughs> that's, he's high. Sure, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's seeing what I think yeah. I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was, yeah. he's asking people next to him, like, "Does one?" Water actually run? <laughs> when we go look at the footage, the crowd is not responding. <laughs> a lot of walkouts. A lot of walkouts. No, the first hour was great. <laughs> And, and then the second spot. hour was, you know, Rory took an intermission. I will be coming back <laughs> out. I'm letting you guys take Getting a break. the lights so many times, they didn't just turn the lights I'll, on. I'll yeah. <laughs> he still didn't notice that. So in a rhythm. That's your move, I was Rory? seeing a lot of lights at the time. I couldn't work out which one the club was in charge yeah, of. I don't know. Yeah. It was very hard to tell. So what, then you but then I was scene. like, you know what? Maybe I've I've got this, and so I think I probably had another little toke of the old. Yeah, because it's exciting. Yeah, it was really exciting. Sure. Yeah, and I went on, and and it started okay. And I was like, I think actually maybe you know I've I've got the hang of this, and 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 I've perfectly calibrated it. Yeah. And I don't know how long I'd done. It could have been an hour. It could have been five minutes. And I <laughs> launched into a routine. I was like, oh, this is they're gonna absolutely love this one. Oh, no. And I started doing it, and it wasn't going as well. I was like, sometimes maybe it's because I. I haven't sorted out my reference sure, points. Sure, yeah, yeah. And then a gentleman in the front row <laughs> pointed out the reason that it hadn't worked was that I'd already done the routine. He was like, you've already done this bit. Oh. <laughs> and I like stu- just crumpled inside. Yeah, like, I, think like, he sat the down, or Be- I think maybe Beth went out and sat down immediately. Oh, I felt so <laughs> awful and I was so apologetic. And then it was just like me being like effusively sorry for having subjected them to the same routine twice. I don't think there was even a routine in between the routine that I 
I've done. <laughs> I think I went out. You were on did a routine. Repeat? I was like, that went really well. Let's I try it again. <laughs> and then launched into the routine <laughs> again. Oh. And and I came off and I was like, it's good. You gave me the gift of knowing that I I'm should no, never yeah. smoke now, before now. I go on stage because I'm terrible. It wasn't, you know, that it's, was the fear was oh, that I'd do it and be amazing horrible. and then I'd have to get high every time I go on stage. That yeah. is not a problem I have to contend with. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. It was yeah. it was beautiful to watch. Yeah. <laughs> and also because it was if it was just a throwaway. No, like if that's a show where you go, oh, these people specifically bought tickets knowing yes. I would be here. Yes. You feel a big sense of guilt. The fact that it was like, hey, this is just a free for all you don't know who's gonna pop in right. it's not on your shoulder so that i always tell people who don't smoke and get high i go have no fear of it just make sure it's not your yes. show yes. and make sure your friend runs the show so that you can be like i fucked up make sure yeah. it's somebody else's show that really means a lot to them yeah. yes and it's their birthday show and they rented the place and there's a big overhead um Ooh. should we do it yeah let's, let's go, go to the letters All right, All right, here, here we, we go. go. Hey, y'all. Love it. All right, like it. Very Southern. Y'all's not in England at all. No, 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 no. All right. Well, there, I, I could come back dropping a few y'alls. I think I get, get called out there. pretty quickly <laughs> by my friends. I wonder, how many, <laughs> I wonder how many you get for somebody to go, oh, yeah. man. Hey, because uh, you know, if we visit like London and then we come back here and even you, it's say mate one time or you yeah. can go any kind of a reference, people go, shut the fuck up. Oh, just because you went to London. <laughs> and you're like, I don't know, that sounded cool. And it does sound cool, but people are like, don't come back here. I do, do use fun. mate. You yeah. Know? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. My three and a half year old boy, like many children, will find a movie he likes and obsess over it for months on end. It started some time ago with Frozen, since we've hit all the Disney classics, and most recently in Kanto. Uh, so I don't know if I read that wrong. Uh, since we've hit all the Disney classics, and most recently in Kanto. Somewhere along the way, he discovered the music from these great films can also be played on Spotify in the car, on Alexa in the kitchen, on mommy and daddy's phones, and hundreds of other devices, I'm sure. These soundtracks have become the soundtracks of my life, not just in the car on the way to daycare, but well after the audio player stops. The beat goes on in my head. I don't talk about Bruno. I just sing about him inside every minute of every day, sometimes for weeks or even months at a time, in the elevator, in the shower, even when trying to sleep. I realize that the torture of repeat film watching is not unique for parents and will eventually pass with time. My questions are, do you ever get a song stuck in your head for long periods of time? Does Patrick Keenan of the Winter Sounds haunt your dreams? Do you mind it, or is it torture? Love the show. Thanks for a break in the music. Jake from Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, Jake. Jake from Atlanta, Georgia. Sorry. Thank you for Jack, writing you, it today. You don't have children. I don't have any I children. Don't have any do you well? want some? Uh, do you want one? Am, do you am want I being one? offered this child? Her, <laughs> her name is Elliot. <laughs> okay. She's a delight. Do You're you want Jake my child? Respite. You're catching her at a very good age. She's very fun right now. She's great. Six and a half. Uh, we're dialed in. Yeah. Um, have we all seen Encanto? No. No. Thank oh, God. Jesus Christ. Christ. I, mean, I want to see it. I just, if you had, I yeah. wouldn't stop the conversation from going. Do you want Disney to know you haven't seen Encanto? They're watching you at all times. You think they don't listen to this podcast? I have seen Encanto. You're under the gun. I love this. <laughs> Bruno. Uh, I hear this it's song can't get it out of my well, head. Well, you know, we, we all know the story of Frozen and Let It Go and how that song massively blew up and parents were like Frozen losing big in your their house three minds. Or four years ago? It was, yeah. It, it was. And we waited to watch it. And then Frozen 2. She and loves that songs, more, right? Doesn't she love Frozen 2 so. more? But those songs are truly, they are great and they're very catchy. Sure. And I got to say, I have seen Encanto... Probably four times. Okay. I have to say, it is a very good Can I ask movie. It's a, very good. It's question. worth your time. On a rewatch with a kid, maybe it depends on their needs or their attention level. When you say four times, two, three, and four, you were diligently actually watching it with your kid again? Or can you kind of check out? Or do you, or with your kid, do you have to be, we're locked in together? You know, I, I often will watch something and I've got my phone out sure. and I'm mainly on the phone, not really watching the thing, whether it's with her or not. And I got to say, I feel guilty every single time. And I hate that I'm setting a precedent in my ki in the attention of my child mm -hmm. by going, yeah, this thing's on and our family's doing movie night, but I'm not really a part of it because yeah. I don't want to see this. Instead, I'm looking at Instagram or responding to an email or something work related where you could actually even justify it. But it just makes you feel... Uh, shitty. So I've tried to just leave my phone in another room Smart. so the temptation mm -hmm. isn't even there. 
uh, and actually just like be a part of it. Cause I know that she notices. Yeah. Even though she's locked into the movie, I know that she's just like, could you eh. have it in a book? That's a good idea. So then it looks like you're doing like, something that you would be yeah. encouraging them to it's do like anyway. The Bible. It's like, like that's Bible. what I'm reading. To you. <laughs> <laughs> just reading <laughs> the scriptures. Oh, yes. oh, he oh. does die. Oh, he. Di- <laughs> well, not for long. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler alert. So you he were, comes back. I cut you off. Though. You said up. you've seen it four times. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what did you say? Yeah, I said I cut you off though. You said you've seen it four times. I've seen it four times. I, the first time I went to see it, uh, it was during COVID. The movie had come out, and uh, I went to one of those theaters where there's only so many seats, and you kind of can like eat yeah, and yeah. get drinks and mm. stuff. And I took uh, Elliot, just the two of us, mm. and I was like, "Oh, COVID's been insane. Numbers seem pretty good. There's only so many tickets. We can, this feels safe." Sure. So we went. And I didn't like love the movie, just kind of watching it. But it's more like sitting there being like, ah, she likes the movie and I'm kind of paying attention. I got to say, watching it the second time, I fully got it. And the I these songs truly are mm. so fucking catchy. They will, this letter is correct. They Dude, will haunt what's that? your, your dreams. dreams. Four times you've seen Encanto? I've seen it four times. How many times have you seen Clifford the Big Red Dog? Today? <sighs> now. Is the correct response. Is bigger fan of the book a bad answer for wow. you? <laughs> That's how I am with the firm. Yeah. That's how I am with the firm. No one says that about the firm. That's how I am with all Grisham. Uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog. Well, how many times have you that's, seen? That's where you could hide the I phone have a in. question. Yes, I was going to ask the exact same thing, Rory. I, I have, Do you like pecan? <laughs> here's here's my question and I this is a genuine question I know Jack if Same. you don't know if you don't know listeners if you have kids uh, you probably do know uh, star of Clifford the Big Red Dog do th- going on like a press tour mm. where it's like numerous red carpets and stuff mm. I've always wanted this because whenever ever I've done a red carpet it's out here in LA you go in and you watch the movie the one time mm. is the expectation for someone like you like carrying the movie to like and then you need to like go in and be present Ten fucking times. Ten fuck, no. Like well, what? Uh, what happens? No, I've never was only, known. There this. was only I only had to watch the movie once. At the a, big premiere. At a premiere yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. But then which there, is fun. There was several other premieres as well, which were full of parents and kids as well. Okay, and at other prim, uh, premieres, are you? Would you show up I'm, and then not have to watch the movie? Yeah, or would yeah. You be but there that didn't the feel bad because it. I'm so it adaptive. Like I even just said premieres. It was a full of children. I go, but at other premieres. And not even to this. like, not even to be like, oh, you say premieres, I say premieres. I just like completely adapted to it. And my brain goes, Roy, you've said it wrong the whole, your whole life. <laughs> right. Um, Wait, this is, a, Roy and I talked about this. You put me in any, any sort of other dialect within hours. Maybe sometimes even less. I'll just start. I just take it on. I just can't not do it. Yeah. I, yeah. So that's going to happen over the course of the podcast. Oh, I don't know. Is yeah. it already started? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just crying. I don't know who I am. I've never known myself. Um, Scoville. Yeah, I've always wondered that because aren't you on other red carpets though, or is it just the one time that you've done the red carpet? You go to the premiere, and that's that. You've done your thing. All the other premieres, you don't even show up at. Well, I mean, I've never had it where I've been obliged to sit through the same film like ten times. Or what about know. Jungle Cruise? Well, that happened during COVID, so there was I mean, only one premiere. Your whole resume in the creepiest <laughs> way you're like how do you fucking <laughs> jesus christ it's on your hand what i'm about? not even breaking eye contact the whole time <laughs> um so you just go to the one yeah i've just been to the I've one i've always wondered here's why i wonder it and just to, to make this question uh th- not sound insane when ready player one came out uh following uh some i can't remember who i follow on instagram but there were constant red carpets mm. yeah and also even when like josh gad went and did like the beauty and the beast they did like a world yeah, tour there's, there's the london premiere of premiering Sometimes there's I like just the wonder, hong kong yeah. premiere i just wonder at what point are they like i can't watch the fucking oh the, I movie. and i assume they just go into like one. a v yeah no, is it the first one yeah yeah you're just showing up you're smoozing you're doing yeah. some interviews you're walking the carpet and then you're like give me the fuck out of here i'm more of the i would feel obliged to sit through it every time there. Uh, that's how yeah, I, I am. Think I, would, I would feel like I, I haven't done my job. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. how I feel. Yeah. Oh, and then you hate it. Then you, 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 <laughs> you get to the fourth one and you're like, fuck end. this movie. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate it. Where would it, it end? Uh, what was it like working with a dog that size? That's how dumb I am. <laughs> um. <laughs> Why? You, you, did, think you guys didn't have scenes together? Why? Did you not have scenes with the giant dog? <laughs> Folks, if you haven't seen it, uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog and Jungle Cruise. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. Mm, thank you. What's your favorite song from Clifford? There aren't any songs. 
And that's why you're no Encanto, yeah. because they have songs. They have catchy songs. They knew what they I were know. doing. Did you have, they need have earworms. You, with Elliot, have you had stuff where you go, I love you more than the world, but I cannot hear this song again? Uh, yes. And what happens? It's, it's even there, and they're good songs. And she's like, all right. But you got to think like, we love a Cardi B as an artist, yeah. but you need to stop playing that song. We can't play her anymore <laughs> in this house. Um, what happens is I can't sleep at night. Even songs like, you know, I've been listening to Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly obsessively since the halftime show. Uh, oh. And I can't, I'm like at night, wake up at like three in the morning. And like, as soon as I say like one line in my head, it's Girl. now just on repeat. And it feels like a fever dream that I can't fucking break. And I I don't know what that is. I mean, I guess that's been eternal, eternally it's been like that. Although maybe that's different for us because music is so much more accessible now that we can give ourselves that disease of planting a song in our head because we can actually hear it at the, like, you know. When it's songs in your head and you don't know where it came from, do you guys subscribe to the idea that if you hear it, it'll get out? Like, if I'm like, I just need to play it. And once I hear it, it'll, it'll stop replaying in my mind. Maybe. Or is that worse? Maybe that makes little it worse. hair of the yeah. dog, so think, but music instead? Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I think it could go either way for certain people. Uh, you know what always gets stuck in my head? Uh, four Non Blondes. What's up? Isn't huh. that what it's called? Just cool. that, like, sing it. And I said, Country style. Hey. God damn it. And I okay. said, hey, 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 to be Not sued by the four non blondes hey. would be a privilege. It'd be a privilege. I would take that cease and desist. We should start framing our cease and desists. Oh, we have a, a country few. version of that song though. Would be that would be really good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and slowed down. What's your favorite? Really What's your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. With earworms is that I I can never remember the lyrics to any song, even oh. if I listen to a song ten times over. Really, and then and you ask me to do the lyrics, I would not be able to recount any of the lyrics. And I can my memory recall is amazing for lines, is amazing I was about for, for stand up comedy. You. But yeah, yeah. I have this weird mental block where I literally cannot remember lyrics to but songs. But certainly, Jack, you have songs so you memorized so as a child. Happy like birthday! He doesn't even know the happy birthday. No, no, nope, don't even know the happy birthday one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's boarding school, though. <laughs> right. No one sang it. No one. Yeah, there were no birthdays. There were no birthdays in, there cupboard, no birthdays in a in cupboard. Boarding school. <laughs> um, that's interesting, because I was going to ask you, when do you learn your, your lines for, for scenes? Are you a hair makeup guy? Yeah. You're like, let me take a look at these sides. Yeah, you can do it there. That's, well, I mean, as long hey, as there's no rhythm to it. then <laughs> If someone's like, hey, do you have a lot going on in this scene? Then I'm like, let's do some homework. Yeah. But if it's like, anyways, you kind of sit over here and you chime have in a couple ever, times. I'm like, ah, I'm learning in the chair. Yeah. Have you ever been a day, like day before, you're, they're all locked in and you just get to show up to set and play? Yeah, sometimes if, I, if there's will. a lot going on. You if will. there's a lot to do. That movie I just yeah. did, we did... Listen, tell me if I'm wrong. Ninety pages in eight days. Can you believe what? that? What? Yeah, it was porn. So <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of dialogue for porn. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of talk. It's a talkie. <laughs> nice, soft, 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 soft. soft. So, soft. That's why so there's, there's a more story. Talking. There's yeah. a story. Right. Yeah. Um. And uh, man, I it's was. It was like cat by the tail. Like I was just constantly like I'm like okay, and let's go. like. Yeah. And like looking over and looking over and looking over. Also, it was it's a comedy, so that has more of yeah. the, like the back and forth, which helped, you yeah, know, yeah, especially yeah. when they're well written because it kind of it always you can always tell when a comedy is well. This has been since the UCB days of doing their sketch teams. Yeah, when it's well written, it's all it almost memorizes it itself. Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like oh, yeah. this is mm. of course what you would say. Yeah, but in that, I kept in the course of shooting that, I kept wanting to be like I wish. I had a day <laughs> and I could like walk in and be like, I know what I'm doing. I know mm. I've thought about it. Like we're good, but it was just, you're just, you're just pushing rocks. Like, yeah. To get mm. through it. And it. I loved it. It was great. I can't wait for the movie to come out, but it made me long for that ability. It, of, like, it's on uh Pornhub. It's out. Parts of it are out. <laughs> <laughs> Five minute clips of it. Are <laughs> right. Out. right. <laughs> Uh, so that's why I was curious because I know sometimes you'll get scripts well in advance for, and you can like be like, oh, I know where I want to be in this and what I want. Yeah, and I think a professional actor probably would be more prepared uh, than me. Than you? Yeah. And I get in that chair and I go, what am I doing in this? Who am I? What's my character's name again? Like, Roy, it's mm. season three. <laughs> so wait, do you ever get was, songs stuck in yeah. your head, or do you just get the melody? No, stuck? Just get the melody, and then oh, you can't the lyrics. lyrics. It's awful. Oh, that's it's frustrating. Even worse than as well. that. You have to listen to like foreign yeah, music, so yeah, you yeah, I don't know what they're saying, anyways. 
And other people are like, what are you saying? Yeah, that's like, the most I don't frustrating know. thing. Yeah, the worst person to be around because I'll put it into your head, but you won't know what the lyrics are. It would be fun at karaoke yeah. to have to watch you like struggle through it. Oh, and be like, no, he, he surely he knows this, and yeah. then you get up there yeah. and you have no clue. And I'm also bad for thinking a lyric has been th- something all my life. And right, yeah, getting yeah. to the karaoke and realizing I that know. I was so far. That off. happens. That happens yeah. a lot to me. No yeah. wonder you're jumping in and out of the melody because you just. You're not there for the words. No. You're yeah, like, you guys say it and I'll come back on yeah. a different pitch with the same thing. <laughs> What's your, who is your favorite band? My favorite band. Favorite band ever. Ooh. I mean. You've thought of one already. I love that I said no. this won't be an interview and then I asked the most no, no, basic yeah, question. I know the most basic favorite question. movie, favorite band, favorite color. Well, tell them yours. <laughs> and then I'm always, tell them yours. Tool, tool is my favorite band. Tooled. Yeah. Tool. 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 T-O-O-L. Who <laughs> Tool. That's a bit too. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll, listen to, I'll listen to their melodies nah, you later. Won't, you won't remember the lyrics anyway. <laughs> <No>. so it <laughs> Maybe it makes you feel better. I, I, they're an extremely popular American band, but I have not, he did not listen to them until he introduced me to them. Yeah. So yeah. mine is My Morning Jacket. Are you familiar with them at all? No. Oof, wonderful band. Are you making wonderful. up bands? No. A little bit. You're <laughs> <laughs> they're just called Morning Jacket. Yeah. Not my. Morning no, Jacket. It is Daniel's just a very possessive person. Yeah. And <laughs> no, it's my Morning Jacket. They're wonderful. Yeah. Ooh, I would love to give for your flight. Give you some of that to listen yeah. to. I wouldn't listen to Tool on the flight, but my Morning Jacket. They're a great band. Just yeah. is that airplane music, to be hey, honest? You can play it as loud as you want. No one else on the plane. Oh, okay. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, you can do whatever you want on there. We got you the flight. Yeah. Um, well, do, you, do you have that you love? The, Other than Susan Boyle. The Rusty Spanners. Did you make that up? No. <laughs> Wait, who is that? He's the Rusty Spanners. They're an 80s band. Oh, all yeah, right. Like I will check that Dexies, out. Dexies, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rusty Spaniards? No. Is that what you're saying? Spanners. Like the Rusty Spanners. Rusty Span- Spanners. I don't know. Spanners. Spanners. Is that like Cockney lingo? Yeah, like Cockney. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't no, underestimate is, my is. dumbness. What Thank is you. Cockney? Yeah. I've yeah, never I'm known. I'm two for two over here. I don't know what Cockney is. Like East End London. I, why like would I know that? <laughs> <laughs> like a Bobby. Like like um like uh, born within the sound of Bow Bells. What I mean, I'm are you it saying? More confusing. <laughs> I know you really are. <laughs> I'm trying to make it less confusing, and I'm making it. What do you worse. do a Cockney accent? Cockney, Me. all right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you want to talk about this? Cockney uh, rhyming slang. Yeah, we'll carry on. Oh, all right. Cockney all right. rhyming slang. Oh, it's pears. like the it's like Dick Van Dyke from Mary Poppins, which probably yeah. is yeah. the entire yeah. country, yeah, right? The, yeah. That yeah. had to like. Well, we just lost a lot of our UK listeners. Everybody in, in the UK was like, "What the fuck is this?" You nope. couldn't find a. Br- you got to get Dick Van Dyke to do it. Who I thought was great. He was yeah. phenomenal. Uh, performance, not yeah. a great dialect. Yeah, you know, because Cockney has all the, like, they switch words. It's a like an associational <laughs> slang. So, like, this sounds like that, or this relates to that, so we use that. Feel free place. to correct so him that's not Am right. I wrong? Yeah, no. Yeah. You know you know this. No, I would, g- give me what, something. Governor? Dog and bone? What does that mean? Phone. Oh, apples and pears. Stairs, yeah. I know apples it's and pears. It's very confusing. Everyone yeah. knows apples and pears. Yeah. Why do they Trouble do that? Trouble and strife. Why does everyone have they to talk in a poem? <laughs> Hold on. Are knife? Knife? No. Life. Why? Wife. Why? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Although they, a lot of them do carry knives as well. Whoa. Welcome back to Cockney Talk, where Cockney Rory talk. is not winning. Yeah. <laughs> I am negative four points in. Uh, just to answer your question, Patrick Keenan from The Winter Sounds, who did our theme song that you that, knew. Can I really heart. quick? That is... The we winter have a lot sounds? Of people, yeah, I the believe winter that. Doesn't it make one, it even yeah. more fun to have sang the intro and, he, and when we find out he's like, I don't remember lyrics. Doesn't you feel better about it because you're like, he wouldn't have known the I lyrics wouldn't have anyways. Known anyway. Yeah, yeah. Right. But even if it's just I'd listen, song. I'd listen to that song 30 times yeah. before this podcast <laughs> to prepare and <laughs> well, that's, that's the best I could do. <laughs> we made him play it on the plane. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we do get a lot of people saying that that is an earworm. Uh, oh, it's for sure is. Yeah. It it's got that very... Oh, oh, I think it's maybe not for us because it's been... Best friends. That's best very good. Yeah, that's, it's you're been not so bad. long. Yeah. It's been so long of hearing it that I don't think it can be an earworm for me. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Same. Um, yeah. Uh, Jake from Atlanta, Georgia. This is a great letter. Um, so sorry about the uh, constant songs that are stuck in your head. Now, we don't talk about Bruno. That is like the number it's one the big kid one, right? song yeah. out there right now. It's oh, crazy. really? Um, but uh, thanks for this letter. Uh, we wish you well. Sincerely, your pen pals, Rory Scoville, Daniel Van Kirk, and, and Jack Whitehall. And, and we're, we're back, back, folks. If you're a big fan of this show, uh, don't forget on Mondays we drop a Patreon episode every, every Monday. It's a follow-up uh, every, letter. Every Monday, yep. It's a follow-up letter, and it's $5 to join the Patreon uh, a month. 
So don't sleep on that if you really like this show. And also, if you like this show and you're like, I don't want to join the Patreon, just tell some people about this fucking podcast. That's how this thing has grown to being in this very, very professional mm-hmm. official studio. We used to sit at her kitchen table and do it. Then we did it on Zoom, and then we did it. And we've actually now I realize we've gone backwards because at Starburns we were in a very professional, professional recording like where they recorded space. Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in a very professional and Animals on HBO. But we have a chandelier in here that people can't, uh, can't just see. Us. You just have to trust that it's there. Why don't you get a logo on this exposed Oh, we're going to. Oh, it's going to be hung. That Thank one right you. there. It's going to be right there. We're going to hang right it up. Right there. Yeah. We're going to hang it up. We're getting there. Well, this is a new space. But you didn't think that this was your show. This is all new. We didn't want to hang it on. No. no. We no. couldn't get it. You're going to wait. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> there's too much to There's a bigger guest. And then <laughs> we got to wait. We have to wait. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, this is where we do plugs, and I don't really have any. Uh, but uh, then tell people to mail us Patreon, mail us if you can. Uh, snail mail, courtesy of the Pimpels Podcast, five four one nine Hollywood Boulevard, Suite C, number one twenty one, L A C A nine zero zero two seven. Check out physical on Apple TV Plus, season two coming out in hey, you know June. What? We haven't done it in a while. You can too, if anything strikes you. If if not, don't worry about it. Uh, we used to like say, "Hey, send us something." I would like. I got into an argument recently about cookies, and okay. I would like to get people's co- – like, I like a cookie a little well done. It depends on the type of cookie, mm. but I like a cookie a little well done, like a peanut butter cookie. Mm. I want some Christmas to it. Christmas yeah. A little Christmas. It? Yeah. I like saying a little Christmas uh, to it. So I, I, if anybody has any Were you going to say letters, you got into a fight about this? I got into a conversation. <laughs> Heated. I got punched. As though, I didn't punch as though there's not enough going so on in the world. So it used to not just be letters that people would send in. No, it always is. Always been letters. I was oh. just saying with a friend of mine. Oh, I thought you meant. Yeah. I was just in a conversation. So I thought that that was instead of a letter, they would send in cookies, and the show well, would just be well, you well, do have a bakery. Cookies. Yeah. Three, three best bakery does send yeah. us cookies I guess, yeah, once a month. I guess but that's probably where our cookie letters are going to come from. And describing how delicious they are. <laughs> yeah. We've done that episode yeah. Yeah. many times. I kind of would watch that's that one of episode. our first ones. Yeah. In fact, I think you did that in your set in Toronto. That was a Talked section about where you took out cookies? cookies and just <laughs> or ate took out them. cookies. Yeah, and ate you them. ate some cookies for I twenty minutes. It. I was so high. I was like, this Oh, I probably amazing. got them out of the green room. <laughs> <laughs> Side question: Every time it's a weed cookie, you know it, right? Have you ever had uh, an edible that was like, "There's weed in this"? I some, always... some people are like that. I think if you have had edibles before, it's easier to spot. But they're, they're, they can they can slip them in there now. No, that can it's be part of an the aggressive letter. flavor. I think you could spike a cookie, and I wouldn't. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the only plug I have for so. myself, DanielVanKirk.com. Uh, I do a trivia night every single month. It's digital as well as bingo night. We raise money for Big Brothers, Big Sisters, uh, No Kill Animal Shelters, and food banks as well as have a lot of fun. Plus, I'm back on tour. So uh, look for the East Coast dates as well as Moon Tower. That'll be in Austin as well as... Um, where else was I going? Oh, and I have some dates coming up in the South. Live, right after Live Moon Tower. Pen Pal is going to be coming up at Moon Tower. Yes, so baby. Be there. That'll be uh, fun. Anything you want to plug? Jack, anything no, going nothing. on? You want to plug? <laughs> no, I'm actually retiring. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? oh okay. I'm well, done now. No, you have, you've done a lot. Yeah. You I'm have done, done a lot. 33. Achieved some things. You're done with stand up. Just take it easy now. I think it's smooth sailing from here. Smooth sailing. You've done enough stand up. Yeah. You've done enough movies. Yeah. Where's your favorite spot? Cut to. Me on here for Clifford the Big Red Dog <laughs> 9. <laughs> we'll take it. And so will you. Uh, where's your favorite spot to go up? Oh, when you're back home in the UK. Uh, in the UK? Uh, like, the what's your club? store? The comedy store in London. Oh, nice. This is amazing. Oh, phenomenal. A very special place. Have you pl- played there? Played I have there. not played there. Either. I've played, uh, my favorite in London is the Bill Murray. The Bill Murray, yeah. Uh, oh, my God. The Bill Murray's God. great. Really? Loved it. I yeah. haven't been to London. Are right, you ready to do and this? you never will with that attitude. Hey. Nope, you won't. I didn't have no. a lot of attitude about it. London, Ontario, <laughs> you got a great shot. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take that. Okay, you ready for this? This was snail mail. It is addressed, uh, Lords, Van Kirk, and Scoville. Sounds oh, good. Got to love that order. Sounds you, good you to said me. said sounds good. Uh, sound good. Why did I address you this way? Open it up to find out. So have you not read? No one's seen this. I haven't seen this. No. I saw it briefly. Okay. And I was like, yeah, this is fun. Oh, we'll get to that, I think. My lords, or my lairds, to be authentic. Can I see the handwriting? Pretty damn good. Oh, I like That's that good, a lot. Yeah. 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 And stationary. Station, it's on stationary. Yeah. Well, bec- no debate because it has their name no. and address. No, no debate because it is and actual stationary. Well, that's what makes it stationary, right? Mm, well, no. Like this and stuff right here. And there you, in line. Stationary is when you have your personal information or at least your name already attached mm. to the letter before mm. you. Yes. Agreed. Mm. 
Love how peaceful and non-confrontational you are. <laughs> to the truth. Yes. <laughs> like if it had flowers on it, would you? And no other wording. Would you consider it stationary? No. It's okay Thank to say. You. It's okay to say yes. But he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> my lords or my lairds. You have enough skin in the game. You do though, and okay. you have all the skin. Yeah. Upon achieving pallor status. I love to hear this. I knew that's somebody who's listened to every episodes that all the episodes that have been released up to this point. Upon achieving pallor status, I knew I had to celebrate with something special. The joy and wisdom I have received burning through your catalog is worth more than I can put a price on. In your names, I have purchased a small plot of land <laughs> in a nature preserve in Scotland, tax free, which by Scottish law makes you both lords. From now on, you may be referred to as such, even in court. Can you oh imagine being God. sued by some asshat and making them call you Lord? It's real. My son gave my husband and I this gift, uh, though I mainly use it to be douchey with French, friends, which, to be honest, is enough. Through roughly 190 episodes, I took pages of notes, wondering what I would say when I eventually wrote to you. To begin, I live in Annapolis near the Academy, and though I probably can't get you into a Blue Angel, I had forgotten till now that we once asked people... To somehow get us into oh, the Blue yeah. Angel Oh, yeah. Can jets. someone not do that? <laughs> Come on, listeners. Someone get us in a Blue Angel. Oh, my God. I know. Uh, my the Blue Angel? Th- I don't they're, know. Oh. Yes. <laughs> they're, uh, it's a, like fighter pilot. It's like a fighter pilot show. Right, okay. yeah, yeah, the Blue Angels. Uh, my house is in the... Fl- uh, although I can't get you in one of the jets, my house is in the flight path of the commissioning week flyovers. Pause to plug the Palpatench. All right, we'll do that. Uh, listen to it. We already did. Yeah. For two days, the angels fly directly over me. I am normally inviting. I am formally inviting you to stay with my family May twenty sixth through twenty seventh for their show. Annapolis has an awesome venue called Rams Head on stage. We saw Jim Brewer there, and he slayed. We'll, we'll, moving on. If you book a <laughs> show, you can stay here as long as you would like. I'm well known for my cooking. You'll be spoiled from beginning to end. No, now I know a lot of your favorite dishes and cocktails from listening to the Crispy show. Crispy cookies. Ooh, favorite right. cocktail. What's your favorite cocktail? Favorite cocktail. Picante is yours. Ooh, no, it's oh. not bad. I like a, just a normal Jack and Coke, or like a like a tequila with a little splash of pineapple. Oh, nice. I'll do that as well. What about you? Old fashioned. Old fashioned. <laughs> I was feeling like well, a now you're there, from no. you. Negroni or no, you're lead. You need to have one with a scotch. Of course. Oh, you're exactly right. We'll get back to that. Lefroig. Um, Lefroig. Now I favorites. know a lot of your favorite dishes and cocktails. Of course, I'm bringing as many as I can with me. Hashtag growing and showing. I will be writing you more stories, but to keep it tighter, let's start here. Do you fuck with Maslow? I used to, I think I'm saying this right. If not, forgive me, friends. I used to practice nursing, and Maslow's hierarchy of needs is one of my favorite psychological theories to Maslow. explain human behavior. Think of it. <laughs> Think of a striped triangle, the stripes would be going horizontal, where the base is step one and le- the level of be- above that is step two, etc. Our primary needs are physiological, food, water, warmth, rest. Our secondary needs are safety, shelter, security. Uh, third comes love and belonging, which is intimacy and friendship. Gross. Fourth is esteem, prestige, and accomplishment. Cool movie. Lastly, self-actualization, creativity, achieving full potential. Mm. Maslow or low, I think it's low. I'm going low, believed that when each level isn't fully met, it is challenging slash near impossible to move to higher levels. Put differently, how can we expect a person who doesn't have adequate shelter, basic needs, or secure loving relationships to reach their full potential, a.k.a. the bootstraps narrative is garbage. Oh. Love you more than some relatives and sending a big mom <laughs> hug, Lady Ashley. Toast script. I bought this stationery to write in because Daniel won me over. P.T.S. I don't want the fucking land. No please, land. please. <laughs> my lord. My lord. You know what I am, a lord. lord. Please add Lakeshore Drive by a lot of James, a lot of Haynes and Jeremiah for both of your cackling idiots to groove out to, which is a great song. You yep. know the song Lakeshore Drive? No. Nope. I know Drive. the melody. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good fucking for good you. Good joke. Okay. That's that. We have this, and then we also have... You can start us. So there's a, what, that so is that's the, the triangle, you just yeah, the about. Maslow, and is then thi- is this official? This is official, and so the order is land the order Scotland? is correct. We or the order is incorrect. We own we own land in Scotland. Yeah, we're lords now. Uh, what, how, what's the if acreage? I wasn't already a Jew, I, I'd be very <laughs> impressed. <laughs> This is oh. the paper it's you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, Jack, 
That's your first book. <laughs> yeah. If I wasn't, if I wasn't already a Jew, I'd, I'd be impressed. impressed. <laughs> That is a great title. Uh, <laughs> um, how big do you think the land is? I, I imagine a small little plot. I'm going to move there and build. I'm going to move there and build. We're going to build on it? Yeah. Dude, we're lords. I want you to have that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this thing doesn't pertain to you in any way. Yeah, with a lot of lords. Oh, all right. Yeah? Also, uh, is that actually at school with an earl? Really? Maybe this gets us into clubs. What's the, what's the group? It was a very, thing? very, very posh school, obviously, that I went to, and... Uh, testament to how posh it was, there was once a history class where two of my friends had an argument because the one that's an earl realized that his great, 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 great ancestor had been beheaded by the great, 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 great ancestor of the guy sitting next to him. This is the most English This is the most English some incredible dukedom. This is how I've always pictured English high school anyways. Yeah, I think most high schools, that's not happening in history classes. But in yeah, mind, people directly there was a genuine relating. argument about like an Elizabethan battle. Yeah, and that's how they found that out. Was yes, that in class. the class. You're telling me. You're telling <laughs> Richards, me. Richard, yeah. the Duke of Sussex. Just stands up and starts beheads. fighting. <laughs> <laughs> that's we Fuck up. you. You fucked my family It was 400 over. years ago. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I feel it now. Time is relative. I care today. <laughs> uh, does anything come along with being an earl? Just other than the title. Like no, he, well, he, ha he has an earldom which is in Scotland. And we went up to Scotland once to find his earldom. But they'd lost all of the land. There was a family home which had been burnt down and then sold to the Church of Scotland for a pound. And it was <gasps> just the facade of this house uh -huh. with that crumbling wreckage behind. Yeah. And that's all that he has it's now. And then there's that. a pub named after him in a very like rough area of Scotland. Free drinks. If anyone found out he was the Earl of Fife, we'd probably get beaten up. Oh, really? Wow. In a ditch. Oh my God! So there's nothing cool that comes so with be it. Be careful. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> if you're doing some gigs in Scotland, boy, those senior superlatives are not cool at that school. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely to get killed. <laughs> Most likely to be murdered in a town <laughs> you used to own. <laughs> oh, if you though, if you had, if is you, Lord the lowest? Like I don't know the chain of command of Lord is famously the one that you can. Easily, you we donate some easily. money to the Conservative <laughs> Party. Easily access, yeah. access. yeah. Yeah, I, Lord's probably the bot. Like, it's like peasants. Donald Trump would be a Lord. Oh, oh well. This is a peasant. <laughs> well, so so yeah, yeah. Yeah. we got to be, we, watch out. We're lords. lords. We're Lords. We're Lords. So. Jack, do you think uh, you'll ever buy land in Scotland and try to climb the corporate ladder? <laughs> social. <laughs> the social ladder. One day I might be a little. Can I like, take a I look at that become triangle, a little. Jack? No, the triangle. Oh, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> we'll learn our shapes. Lyri lyrics and shapes are just my two like blind spots. <laughs> <laughs> you promised me there would be no trick questions. You said I no know. shapes. You're not going to do the circle into the square peg again, are you? Sorry, my friend. Now our lightning round. Okay, Get so the this shapes. <laughs> pick the shapes with the proper Triangle description. Square. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck. You, this, this shouldn't really feel that controversial, right? Is like, it controversial? I, I'm saying, like, Maslow, I think, just identified something that I think we can all It's like a basic, agree upon, a basic thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. That, like, yes, I feel like it'd be hard to reach your full potential if you don't have food, water, warmth, and rest. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but I do think that some... Uh, I kind of hate the hackness that this has become, but like you look at throughout time, like your 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 tortured artists, you're like that they really would, they would reach the peak of creativity while yeah. forsaking cleanliness or food. Like those things would fall to the wayside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't call those people uh, in a completely unprofessional sense uh, healthy. Right. But I think that there are people who do achieve like these things maybe by skipping or minimalizing some of the rungs on it. But I think as a as a, no pun intended, but as a base level, I think that's pretty. That's the right way to go about things, right? Like, where do I live? Who's going to take care of me? Do I feel loved and belong? Then I can have this. But then you think about people who make it, like these amazing artists who never had support and love. But would you say that they're seeking that as an outlet because they're seeking those things they never got? Oh, interesting. I once did a show in Chicago and literally like 15 members of my family came to the show. Drove in from Rochelle, Illinois. I'm sure you're familiar. Yeah. Mm. Well, you're a lord, Chicago. so obviously they're going to try mm. to milk <laughs> and milk <laughs> you for what they can. One of the comics goes, I think you have a lot of family here. And I, and uh, it was my show, but they still, yes, I did. Yeah. And I go, I know, I think 
I have too much support too to much succeed support, yeah. in this career. And I was too loved. <laughs> right. Yeah. Be- but I think that uh I handled all that with early abandonment that I suffered. But the I think that if you do lack that, maybe your expression of like artistic endeavor is to achieve what you might have missed on a lower rung. Is that crazy? I mean Well <coughs> I have I don't know. There's a long pause. From I think now you're a lord. Well, we're now might in. be the moment to cut, lose some of this family. And you don't to need everybody. Gonna, yeah. You don't need you everybody. You don't need everybody. You could build a little bit of... They're going to try to get on our land. Yeah. By the way, our this land. Is, yeah. So I was, think, I was oh, wrong to say I'm ready it? to build. This is the perfect you know, way to try and... You know, achieve some of that. Uh, yeah, like because the resentment. Yeah, yeah, I do. And they're going to be want now. You've come into money and land. Well, not money <laughs> necessarily, but land. Give it time. Certainly, and, I and do a title. think. I do think there is a world where someone that self fulfillment of creativity. Let's say specifically an artist. Sure. Maybe does create art that is widely received as very good, and maybe this artist gets recognition for their. Uh, work right but i don't think it necessarily means that they have achieved that self-fulfillment or found something inside you know that maybe goes to a deeper place i think there's plenty of artists that you know hit it big or you know they, here's a song or an album or you're this fucking huge person you're almost like oh here's this person who succeeded well and then you step back and you go oh they didn't write the song a producer wrote that song or a producer made those beats or a, d- a band played that, right. and they just filled in and they're the figurehead of a thing and that's specifically in music and then there's some people who as um actors who might be like you're the greatest actor i've ever seen but it doesn't necessarily mean that they've they've found this deeper more enriching thing it means they're like they're good at it. Like, for instance, I think I'm really good at stand-up comedy, but I, I would say I'm still on some kind of a quest to go, I don't know, I think there's more in terms of, like, an, an enlightenment to be achieved or a different perspective of Can I something or, or other events in my life to go through to really open my eyes. And I think, you know, maybe there's a little bit that is attributed to that philosophy of, like, well, you need these steps to get there. I mean, if you go, well... You know, there could be a homeless person who, you know, makes a painting on a side of a building one day and suddenly people are like, oh, this is valuable. This person has these things. And you go, sure. oh, well, maybe they still do need that base level. But they did this creative thing that then afforded them money to mm-hmm. maybe then hey, I do now have a home and shelter. And, you know, right. I don't know. It has to go in that order. Can I ask you a question? No, nope, I'm actually done with it. You can ask Jack. I, I'm done with questions. He's tapped out. <laughs> the goddamn shape thing through yeah, me. through me completely. <laughs> Still trying to comprehend. He's crying. He's been crying is. for five straight yeah. minutes. When you were, when you were just, I'm screaming right now. <laughs> You're fine. How did it's I fine. reveal we'll myself to in. not know what shapes are? <gasps> we'll edit oh, they're it never in. gonna let me back in this never, country. Never gonna let me back in ever again. <laughs> they go. I failed the most basic test. <laughs> Pass me the triangle. <laughs> when you is the square. When you say <laughs> thirty-three Rory. years old, and you know and I can, is a what rectangle, do you need? and it's I can rectangle. track it all back to that night in Toronto. That's when the wheels came off. He did that to you. I was so yeah, yeah so assured. But with that shapes, actually, with music, everything, I and knew, now I'm I I a was. mess. That actually goes to my question. I pointed Rory. out to him he's never had a triangle. <laughs> he's you never had this me pyramid into a tailspin. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you this. Tailspin. Well, you said, oh, I still feel like I have like growth or like. In your comedic voice, like, I'm good at comedy, but I still have all this place to go. Sure. Do you think, like, we look at, like, Carlin or, you know, Pryor. Like, do you think they reached a point where they thought, well, I'm, I've am i reached the tip of my spear here. This is. Mm. Or do they kind of always feel like the, the metal still needs to be, like, pounded down a little bit? Or do you think that you kind of hit this cruising place where you're like, well, the whole find your voice, ex- complete expression of what you want right. to say and doing that in a way that's entertaining and getting people to laugh while also think and like challenge ideas but not be controversial. Like, yeah. Do you think they felt like, well, I did it. Yeah. I'm here. Or do you think it what constantly think? feels... I think they probably didn't. I think people I, I, like yeah. that are constantly evolving and constantly thinking that there's a higher plane and constantly thinking yeah. that they can challenge themselves. I think a really great artist in any medium is excited by... And also tortured by the fact that there is no conquering it. the thing. Even yeah. if, yeah. And, and for instance, like, you know, you, you could take like uh, someone like Kevin Hart. You mm-hmm. almost go, how many more specials are you going to make? Like, I look at that and I go, oh, my God, this insane amount of specials. But he's probably looking at it going, I'm still not at this place that I'm trying to get to. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whereas someone could look back and go, oh, you've made plenty of money. 
You've said plenty of things. It's undeniable. You're a success. You're funny. Sure. And you've done movies and, and TV. You've done all the things. Right. But I think a genuine artist like that, there isn't some sort of retirement plan. I'm like, okay. Mm. But there's no <laughs> retirement plan. You're oh, he doesn't have a plan. Like, he just oh, that's retired. what you don't have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you know what I mean? It, it, you almost feel like you're never able to get there. I think what makes a lot of artists uh, uh, legendary is the fact that a lot of them find that very personal space where then, let's in specifically talking about stand-up comics, Richard Pryor, you know, is almost looked at as like the the greatest because there was so much vulnerability right. and truth in who he was and what he was talking about and joking about. And that's not an easy place to get to in a business where our job is to make the crowd He's feel doing, good and laugh. Yeah. And also us as well. He somehow did it with like tragedy, and it was like Dude, he's remarkable. Doing that, he's doing that special after setting himself on fire. Exactly. Yeah. And and, and some people are like, man, can you believe he went up there and talked about it? But I think from a comedic angle, you go, what else the fuck would you talk about? Hey, to look, not talk. When he about was that. on fire, every comic knows. When he was on fire, he was going ten new minutes. <laughs> you know, he's thinking it. I got a new bit. <laughs> got to live life to get new material. Uh, I'm interested if somebody who knows about psychology would tell us that there's anything wrong with this because it says it's a theory. So it, that means it must be argued by some people. Although it seems to make pretty good sense to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I'm sure somebody will follow up and let us know. Um, I love this, right? Mm. Great. Mm, great. Yeah. yeah you, great. Your schoolmates fighting over 400-year-old vendettas. That's a <laughs> bit right there. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, Ashley, thank you so much for this. And the land. Oh, and I the know. land, yeah. I yeah. Know. Uh, we wish you well. Sincerely, your pen pals, Lord Daniel Van Kirk. Lord Rory Scovel. And Duke Jack Whitehall. Oh. 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 Save that. Oh. Really... They had to just push us down a peg, didn't you? Don't let this come between you, though. <laughs> Power can really corrupt. <laughs> is all that I've learned. I now regret not being like, folks, we are so lucky. Jake Whitehall is here. <laughs> <laughs> There's still time. There's still time.